Okay, so we've made it to the Milford track. We've just got off the boat. We're about to set off on our first day. The first hut is Clinton Hut, which is about five to six kilometers down the track. So not too bad for the first day. It's actually not raining, although it's predicted to rain quite a lot. So we're gonna get started and see if we can get there in the dry. So we're coming up to the first suspension bridge over the Clinton River. Originally, I was going to bring my little rod and have a fish because it's supposed to be full of trout, but it's a ballot system to get your license. So unfortunately, that meant no fishing for me. Okay, so we're about halfway in the first day. It's very easy going. The track's really good and flat, and the weather's good. It's been dry, but we have had a bit of sunshine, which is even better. Um, all's going well. We'll see you down the track. And we've made it to Clinton Hut. It's pretty flashy. All right, so a quick tour of the bunk room. We're the first ones here today, so there's no one in here yet. So bunk beds. We've gone for this one here. Front. Now yeah, let's go out and have a look at the kitchen. So we've just woken up on morning two at uh, Clinton Hut and they said there was a forecast of snow and look up on the mountain, <laughs> there's snow. Good morning on morning two. So we're just about to set off from Clinton Hut heading towards Mintaro Hut. So we're gonna start to work our way up the mountain. It was a really nice, cool night, uh, but not too cold. And as I showed you earlier, there's a bit of snow, which is pretty exciting. So hopefully we get a better view as we get a little bit higher up. to do a scenic side track, uh, the Hidden Lake, that will rejoin the Milford track. So hopefully we get some pretty spectacular views.
Okay, so we just thought we'd check in for an update. It's about lunchtime. We've been going for three and a half hours this morning. It's been super, super scenic. So many waterfalls, it's just incredible. We're just working our way now to the base of the climb. I turn around, you can see McKinnon Pass behind us. It's um, actually clear sky. So the ranger last night suggested that if we could see it on the way there, it's worth trying to get up there this afternoon uh, because generally it's clouded out in the morning. So we'll see how we're going when we get to the hut. It's probably about two hours away or so now. So we'll see you along the way. So we started the climb up to Mintara Hut now. Hopefully it's not too bad and it doesn't take too long. We've made it to Mintaro Hut. And look at the snow up there behind it. Good morning on morning three. So we're about to leave Mintaro Hut and head up to McKinnon Pass. The McKinnon Monument in honour of Quinton McKinnon, an explorer who developed the track and discovered this pass from the Clinton Valley to the Arthur Valley and on to Milford Sound. Okay, so we've just made our way sort of over the McKinnon Pass. We're actually still just sort of on top of it at the moment. The views are amazing, both directions. And we're heading towards the McKinnon Shelter where we're going to enjoy a hot chocolate because it's pretty chilly up here it's not too windy though which is pretty amazing the weather's actually been really really good so super fortunate just shows the forecast of rain every day wasn't quite right in our favour Making our way back down, and you can just see in front of us a waterfall 
that's roaring uh, and we think that's Sutherland Falls which is the largest waterfall in Australasia and if I remember correctly from the ranger last night it's about 1,900 and something feet tall so that is our next stop we're heading there we're still a couple hours away but we'll be there later today to leave Dumpling Hut and set off for Sandfly Point. It looks really dark, but it's actually 7.30. So we're gonna get started because we've got to be there for a two o'clock boat. And they say it takes about six, five to six hours. So we've got a little bit of time to sleep, but we're just gonna start heading off steadily and there should be light soon. This is a historic section of the track called the Rock Cutting and it was carved out in the late 1800s by hand so that you could get past and stay on the same side of the river and not have to cross again. Pretty amazing that this was done by hand so long ago. So we're coming up to about 13 and a half kilometers and we're going for three hours 20. It's pretty easy going. Uh, a little bit rocky in sections but generally pretty nice trail and trending down so it's a bit smoother and a bit easier. Still very scenic, very green and lush. Um, we've got the river to our side and we're just going to keep on keeping on. Alright, so we're nearly at the finish line 
Amy, what did you think? It was really good. What was the highlight of the Milford track? Uh, um, I think they do seeing the waterfalls and then up over McKinnon Pass with a bit of snow. It was really nice. Yeah, I think waking up on day two to snow was pretty cool which meant all the waterfalls were flowing quite nicely that was spectacular so definitely my highlight as well all right nearly there we'll see you at the end done we finished the milford track yeah